Kai Soto, man. Bro, what? Kai Soto. A little triple threat move, okay. Damn. He's going to be super annoying to play against in 2K. So today I'm going to be taking a look at Kai Soto for the first time. I made a video on my Knicks Daily channel and has over 55,000 views in a day. And a lot of people were asking me to watch his highlights and to learn more about him. And that's the truth. I've got to learn more about him. I haven't seen him play. He's 7'3". He looks like it. I mean, he just towers over everyone. Right here, you can see how easily he can just get up there and throw it on an alley-oop. I'm really interested to see him switching pick and rolls and his handling and his three-point shot because a lot of this is just dunks. Like, we know he can do that, but you can see right here, he just throws that in. There are different rules, so, like, in the NBA, I don't think that would be allowed. But it's just interesting. You see right here, he just cuts and just finishes. That should have been an M1. He's just going to be very difficult to guard. He just trails the pick and roll very well, especially if, like, the big man that he's guarding can't shoot. He's going to be able to help out. He sticks with the play right here. Let's see. A lot of contact there, M1. I don't recall anything in this league. Oh my God. That's an M1 every day in the NBA. Right there. He just goes over everyone. Like, there's just like, let me pause this for a second. The thing that I really like about Kai Soto is that he is seven foot three, but he's not slow. And he, he like I said, he moves very well laterally. So he's going to be going up against a lot of small boy centers. Like in the NBA, you just don't see traditional centers anymore. Not that Soto is because he can shoot and handle and do a bunch of different things. But I mean, if you have a six eight, a six nine guy guarding him, he's just going to dominate that matchup. He, like, unless there's, setting picks and just completely just popping out and he's he's gonna obviously have to go guard him or they're gonna switch it or something like that but i can definitely see if he goes into the right system just the development would be great for him i don't know if the knicks would be exactly right for him i think like the Cavs or maybe the bulls because the, the thing about the knicks is like they, they do have mitchell robinson and they also have jericho sims but the thing is like coach thibodeau will not play this kid if he's not playing cam reddish and he, he, he took this long to play ob and quickly he's not going to play kai soto so for the sake of so, uh, Soda fans, for the sake of Soda himself, I will say that Hopi does not go to the Knicks, assuming they keep, co keep Coach Tib, because so I could see potential with this guy, man. Like, I thought he'd be really slow. And originally, I was just looking at his highlights of him just dunking and blocking shots. Like, of course, he can do a like 7 3 playing in the NBL. But I definitely can see if, if he does fall into the right hands of, of a team, like him being able to become a star level player. I think Cleveland will be great next to Jared Allen. Your ear is not should have been an A1. They don't call anything in the NBL, bro. That's, that's an A1 all day. Right here, you can see he's just driving in. Good finish right there. I mean, being 7'3 and hanging in the air like that is just ridiculous. It doesn't matter what league you're in. Like, look at that. I mean, that's a lengthy defend. That guy's probably at least 6'10 that it was guarding him. Right here, he's just going to go down in the paint. Too easy, man. The defense guy is hands up. There's just no chance of being able to defend that. And then right here, he's running the floor, throws a tiny, a seven foot three guy. How would how do you get beat up the court by a man that's seven three? Look at that. No one's even near him. Just ridiculous. Pretty crazy, man. He's gonna earn his minutes, that's for sure. All right, good pass. All right, just throw it up. It's a pretty good IQ. All right. He's definitely better than I thought. Like, I kind of expected him to be a lot like Sean Bradley. I know it's probably a horrible comparison. I mean, I knew he could shoot, but he moves better than I thought. Seems like a smart player. Being just, remember, he's just turned 20, which is crazy. He's playing against, like, former NBA players and, like, grown men out there. Oh, first jump shot I've seen of him. He's a lefty? Oh, he can shoot at both hands. That's right. He's ambidextrous. Dude, he just pulled up like that with no hesitation. Pretty good looking. I almost just said pretty good looking stroke. Pretty good looking shot. He's not even, like, in his frame. I mean, how, how much does he weigh? He doesn't even need to jump to block that shot. It's effortlessly. Oh, my God. How is he going in the second round? Is this people are afraid that he's going to be a bust because he plays in the Philippines? or What? I don't, mean, I, don't mean, I don't know where this game is being held. or NBL? I... Yeah, I got to look more into him. But just from what I'm seeing, he is better than I thought. I definitely can see the hype. Good block right there. So where was his man on that? So who's he go? Who is he guarding on this? Like why? I don't know. I guess it was must have been in transition because like there's two guys like beyond the three point line. Like you see like this is weird. I don't know, but whatever. He's just that's good help defense right there, and he does it without fouling. Of course, he's he's just he barely has to jump. Right here, you can see he's down low, and yeah, he throws that down with his left hand. I don't know how this wasn't let me, let me see this again. All right, so 
That was a shot, 100%. I don't know the rules of this league, but that was 100% a shot by the guard right here. You can see, like, clearly a shot. And he's just over the rim. I don't know. Yeah, that definitely looked like it was against the rules, but I could be wrong. But, again, I mean, good athleticism to be able to go up and dunk that. I keep missing plays, bro. He's just a walk. I'm literally, like, not focused, and I miss a play. Oh, okay, that's why I missed it, because it literally, as soon as it transitioned, he was blocking the shot. I see a lot of potential. He definitely, it's he's definitely not like the prototypical big man nowadays. I mean, he's seven foot three, but he can shoot and he's pretty quick. And I feel like he could. He's not going to get run off the floor defensively. I can definitely see like certain offenses being really hard for him to defend. But there's not many offenses that are like that. Like the Warriors, I think would really be tough for him if they run Dre at the five. But I mean, I, he would lock up Draymond. I again, like in a couple of years, like a twenty year old Kai Soto is not going to be able to do that, but. I think Draymond, his physicality might be too much, but Draymond's like 6'6". I, this kid, Draymond is 6'6". I mean, Draymond might get dominated on defense. So there's an, I was going to say, I want to see more jump shots. Pretty good looking release. You can see just no hesitation. Oh yeah, coming from the weak side right there. They called that a foul. He just goes straight up. Yeah, that was definitely clean. Dude, he, he does a, such a good job in pick and roll. Like, you can see his man, that, that was a horrible screen. And then the guard drives. You can see he's he's kind of hedging back to make sure there's no lob thrown. And then once he knows the guy's going up, it's like he just rotates over and gets it with two hands, keeps it in bounds. Pump fake right there, you have to respect the shot. And then he's just going to put it on the floor and drop a dime. Pretty crazy pass. And these are good players, too. It's not the NBA, but this is a this is a competitive league. That foul wasn't called in him, I don't believe. You can see that that was like the first time in the video that the guy tried to go to, to, to the man in the pick and roll, and he was right there. You can see he's like he's guarding two players right now, and then there's a lob. He just goes up and tips it away, and then the guy gets it back, and he still is able to get a block, but the other man fouled him. Yeah, I definitely didn't expect him to be this good, but he really looks good. Catches a lob right there. He can do it all. He can shoot it. He can – set someone up i mean defensively he's just going to be ridiculous i mean you could be looking at i'm not going to say he's going to win defensive player of the year but you could be looking at one of the best defensive players in the league just because of his versatility but good bounce pass back door yeah, this video is super blurry all right you can see he could work with the right and the left hand I like him. I like his game. I really do. I didn't know anything about him yesterday when I made that next video, but now I can see why so many people like him. There we go. There's a three ball. He's got a, I will say he does have a slow release, but he's seven three. And there was, I don't know. There was no one on him. It's a good looking shot. Maybe he was just, he probably just taking his time because there was no one guarding him. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I need to see more jump shots. I mean, he's a very good shooter, dude. He's apparently he's mastered the NBA three ball. His trainer has it has him uh, mastered that. He did another block without even jumping right here. Oh my goodness! I hope the Knicks get him, bro. Be a mistake if they pass him. That's ridiculous. Oh my god, dude! What a dunk! Look at this, dude. Just go up and get it, man. I don't know how like opposing defenses will stop him when he grows into his frame because he can shoot it. He's a good passer, both hands. Like those six, eight, six, nine centers that you see in the NBA now, which just how are they gonna stop the pick and roll, bro? They can play physical with him, but once he bulks up, like good luck. He's just once he's around the basket, you're doomed. You're doomed. If you if you have your back to him, like look at this, your back's to him, you're doomed, bro. Don't foul. Say I won. Yeah, that's a that's a much more smooth looking shot. You can see the guy was closing in, so he's a good set shot. I like his game. Kai Soto, man. Bro, what? Kai Soto. Little triple threat move, okay. Damn. He's gonna be super annoying to play against in 2K. <laughs> All right, let's go look at his scouting report.